common sense. But if they use their ability, their genius on making America great again, we w I probably wouldn't have ever run. I probably would have never run. I wouldn't have to. I'd be now lounging on some beautiful beach someplace or doing something like he does. But he does it during his presidency. <laughs> Somebody said he looks great in a bathing suit, right? And you know, when he was in the sand and he was having a hard time lifting his feet through the sand, because, you know, sand is heavy. They figure three solid ounces per foot. But sand is a little heavy. And he's sitting in a bathing suit. Look, at 81, do you remember Cary Grant? How good was Cary Grant, right? I don't think Cary Grant, he was good. I don't know, what happened to movie stars today? We used to have Cary Grant and Clark Gable and all these people. Today we have, I won't say names because I don't need enemies. I don't need enemies. I got enough enemies. But Cary Grant was like, Michael Jackson once told me, the most handsome man, Trump, in the world. Who? Cary Grant. Well, we don't have that anymore. But Cary Grant at 81 or 82, going on 100, this guy, he's 81 going on 100. Cary Grant wouldn't look too good in a bathing suit either. And he was, he was pretty good looking, right? He wouldn't. Look. If this guy went to the beach, and he enjoyed himself, and he left our border policies alone. We had the strongest, but remain in Mexico, a catch and release in Mexico, building the wall, the Mexican army, 28,000 soldiers protecting our border. If he just left it alone, he could have stayed at the beach and everybody would have said, boy, is he looking good. But he doesn't look good. Somebody, he's got a consultant. You know, we all have consultants, but you have to think for yourself a little bit. And some consultant said, you know, I think the president would look good on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You don't go to the beach there. I don't think that looks good. Are the voters happy when they see a president all week long at a beach? I don't think. <laughs> typically, typically that's not a good look. You'd like to see a president who works a little bit, right? But if he would have left our policies in place and our policies on energy, now I will say he brought them back because he was getting killed. So he let him drill more. But as soon as this election were over, should the unthinkable happen, he will stop all of the drilling. He's only doing it because he was getting absolutely killed. So he went back to the Trump drilling. But even at that, he gave up Anwar, the biggest site ever in the world, probably bigger than Saudi Arabia, some people. That's in Alaska, Anwar. So it's a, it's a shame what's happening to our country. It's so sad when I'm with people and we start talking about it and they're from other countries, it's embarrassing. On day one of my new administration, I will terminate every open border policy of the Biden administration, and we will use every tool at our disposal to rid our country of the monster.